Welcome to another weekly edition of our TIL PSA where we bring you the news from Disney, Star Wars, and Lego every Tuesday. And then on Fridays we dive a little bit deeper. This Friday we're talking about stress. <laughs> it's been a stressful week around here and we're going to talk about how we de-stress and, and bring our fandom into that and help us out there. So you make sure you check that out this Friday. But today, the news. First up on our list, we've got another price increase in Walt Disney World. This time it's with the character dining experiences. It's going to be going up by about a buck per adults and about three to four dollars per kid. So not a ton, but you know, every dollar counts. We've got that full list of restaurants at the link below. Maybe you remember those infamous sporks from Galaxy's Edge, right? The ones that people were going to Docking Bay 7 and getting their meal and, and pocketing those and then taking them home and selling them on eBay for like 60 bucks. Yeah, those sporks. <laughs> well, they're back. Docking Bay 7 has those now for sale for $10.99. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. $10.99 will get you the spork and a canvas bag to take that home in. I'll probably be getting one. Got some Disney Plus news for you. Emilio Estevez is set to reprise his role in the Mighty Ducks series on Disney Plus. Gonna be going back and watching those movies to get caught up. I know you will be as well. But look, that series would not be the same without him coming back and being Coach Gordon Bombay. So I'm looking forward to that. Filming is set to begin next month in Vancouver and conclude in early June. All right, over in Epcot, we've got the Impressions to France film. It's now been fully restored in 4K. It's been a long time coming. You know, that came in 1982 when Epcot opened. It's been there from day one. But now we've got that Beauty and the Beast sing-along that opened on January 17th. It's doing great. But what it's done is it's kind of made a, a smaller window of where you can go see Impressions to France. It's now every evening from 7.30 to 9. So when you go on your trip, make sure that you mark your calendar. It's a great film. It really is. If you've never seen it, check that out in beautiful 4K. Headed over to Animal Kingdom, we've got some brand new animals born on January 21st. A yet to be named Hartman Zebra Foal was born to Mama Prima and a male Angolan black and white Colobus monkey. I hope I said that right. <laughs> named Douglas was born on January 15th to Mom Zara. Look, these are so cute. This is what Animal Kingdom is all about. So I can't wait to head out there and see these new animals. From the world of Star Wars, we've got Project Luminous coming. A big announcement about Project Luminous is coming on February 24th. If you're part of the Star Wars fandom community like myself, you've heard a lot about Project Luminous, but you haven't heard enough about Project Luminous. We don't know exactly what it is, but we know that it will include both comics and books to tell one cohesive story. It's going to be a new era of storytelling, at least that's what the rumors are saying. And so, look, I, I gotta believe it's gonna be more than just comics and books, that those are gonna kinda start this new storytelling era and push towards some new films and some new Disney Plus series and just the new era of Star Wars. So I can't wait to hear more about Project Luminous. Almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the news from this week's TIL PSA, all from Disney, Star Wars, and Lego. And then on Friday, come back. We're going to be talking about stress this week. Well, how to de-stress using our fandom. And so we're excited to talk about that. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell to be notified of these weekly positive videos. And give us a big thumbs up if you like this video, as I know that you will. Did. Do. Have. <laughs> this is Mark Eddington with your weekend news for a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Boop.